Hello there people, this is Christian. Welcome back to my computer and Fusion for 60 and my latest challenge. If you want to have more information about the challenge, look at the challenge video. This is the workflow video. We're going to do the part on top here, because zoom in a bit. We have all the dimensions we need here. And I'm going to use uh, parameters. So I'm going to start with that before we start any designing, really. And we're going to start with part length because i need to do some calculation this of course this is the number we're going to change later it's 104 going to be 165 when we try to change the parameters uh, i might just as well type in the part width use parameters for basically everything part uh, thickness is free all the numbers are given here in the drawing i have been down here that are the dimensions of a part and we have hole that has an outer diameter of eight and we have a distance from hole to hole hole distance cc centered center that's a, our fixed value so might call that fixed or remember that should not be changed or if you can change it if you want to do a parameter but that should be in the final design that's always 20. And we have a hole, edge, uh, minimum, oops, minimum distance. That's the minimum distance from this hole here and the edge here. It must be minimum 12, can be higher, but it shouldn't be so high that there's room for one more hole because then one more hole should be added. Hole, edge, min distance, do you have anything else? No, that's all our parameters for now. So I'm going to hit OK for now. I'm going to create a new component for the fun of it. You don't need to. It's up to you. It's good to keep things compartmentalized. I'm going to create a sketch. Let's do this from the top. I'm going to create a rectangle. Uh, we can do this basically any way we will. So let's do it this way. So we need to add more geometry by ourselves. We have our part width and we have our part length like that that's the basis of our part and we're going to have a circle somewhere let's do it out here uh, that's going to be our od our outer diameter and this should be somewhere around here so now now the problem is where are we supposed to put this cut here and as i said also i put a whole symmetric on part length if we look here you can see there are five in this case there are eight but they are always placed symmetrically uh, if you split the part in the middle so let's do that in our little uh, design here just do a line we're going to do a construction line from here down to here and then from here just straight over to here and simply use the midpoint constraint between these two lines that means this line will always move around. This has been nicely placed. This line here is the same as the length of the pattern. The length from here to here. And the length of the pattern is a fixed or a calculated number of holes multiplied by the fixed distance. So the problem we have, we need to somehow calculate the number of holes. And now I'm a bit uh, dirty here because with these numbers here, you're going to get an even uh, or correct this is 12 millimeters distance to the side, so we get a, a integer number directly. But let's have a look. Change parameters. We're going to do the calculation. We're going to start with the plus here, number one. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do number. But this is not the number of holes. This is the number of spaces. I'm going to call them spaces. Uh, no unit, because we don't want that. What we're calculating is uh, how many spaces we can put in here really not number of holes if you think about this this is one two three four spaces and that's five holes because the distance we have dimension a whole distance centered center is 20 that's the distance of a space between so the spacing of the holes so yes calculate what is the maximum distance we can put uh, some type of pattern here that is the part length and we need to reduce it by the minimum distance multiply by two because from both sides i'm going to put parentheses around everything i'm going to go to the end and we're going to divide this by the 
whole uh, distance center to center. Just leave it like that, so you can read things here. Blah, 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 blah. That's nice. This does for fun. If you do this to 105, we get a problem because the number spaces will be 4.05, and that doesn't work. But what we can think of is that we can always round this number down because we should not add another uh, space or hole until we get over the next full number. Let's share this back to, we can stay by step at 105. How do we round down? We do edit this, go all the way back here and do floor and parenthesis on everything. Hit enter, you can see now it's 4, even 105. Let's change this to another 4. So we are back to the numbers we want. So that's the number of spaces. Let's use that in our sketch. So D for dimension. This here needs to be the number of spaces multiplied by our whole distance center to center. So by that, we have made everything in our sketch. And we can for fun now just check our sketch, modify, change parameters. If we now change this to 165, our sketch updates nicely. Thank you. 104. You could of course center things around the mid uh, region point. What to do that? Which is just a, I choose to put it down in the corner. It's up to you. You can play around. Uh, hit OK. Gonna finish sketch. Gonna extrude this part here. Just simply extrude the part here to the distance of the thickness. And you can see here my sketch just doesn't auto hide. It's gonna hide it. Not the body. Sorry. 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 Hide the sketch. And by that we have a hole here. So now we need a rectangular factor. S on the keyboard. Rectangular pattern. Yes, you can pattern a sketch. This is very simple and simply just do one extrude, but we want to avoid patterning sketches because they are quite heavy for fusion to do other calculations. So we can do two choices. We can do a feature. Now we cannot do a feature because I didn't do this extrude by itself. So the only way we can do this is by faces. Sorry if I confuse you. So we select this face, the cut face, the direction. We can use the little axis down here as highlights like that. And quantity is number of spaces. But of course, if we only do number of spaces, we're going to miss one hole. So that's plus one to get all the holes. And the distance is the whole distance center to center. And oh, sorry, I was changing. I always have guessed. Yeah, this is a bit annoying. I don't know why it's always extent. This should be spacing. And let's now put in our distance. What's going on now? Whole distance center to center. Hit OK and zoom out. And we have our little part. And just for the fun of it, right click properties. And this is 5486, the same as here. If we do an inspect of this circle and this edge, we get that that is 8. And that's correct, isn't it? 12. Yeah, that's correct. Let's do that. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. We can do this instead. Show snap points. I always forget that. So we do over here, hold down control. And by doing that, that's 12. So we do that once more. I, I, this is a good thing about uh, measure. I always forget that. You can do show snap points. I'm going to show a lot of snap points for you. Uh, let's do restart selection. You can see, but something they just flick around. So what you do, basically, like you're selecting joint points, move a cursor above the face, hold down control, and now you can select the midpoint of the circle here and the edge over here is 12 millimeters. So that's our basic design. So let's now try and see if we get the answer for our model. Modify, change parameters. And this is supposed to be 165. And go back and have a look at our model. Yes, it updates and we get eight holes. And the properties, the properties for this part is that it's 8694. You want to round it up to that. That's the volume that you're asked for here. And the distance, let's do measure, check that snap, show snap point size on, zoom in. You can see it here, hold down control, select the midpoint or center point of a circle and the edge. And this is 12.5. You can set it up a couple of different ways and please try other ways. That's the fun part of playing around with Fusion. So with that said, 
Hope this is something useful for you. Take care, see you around, and goodbye.